This is a little bit of theory, educational moment about neurophysiology. We're looking at coping with overwhelm. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about why we get overwhelmed and what you can do as a distant student to get yourself out of a hole. It is true that most people who are taking courses by distance or flexible learning actually are doing it because they're just plain busy. They've got family, they can't go to a polytech or a university, they've got a job, they can't take time off. Some people are in um, the remote parts of New Zealand or some part of the world where they can't physically go, but many, many people manage very, very diverse and busy lives. So I'm going to tackle this by first talking about our brains. So this is a representation of our brains and two parts of our memory. The top part is our short-term memory and the bottom part is our long-term memory. I've made a little bit of a simplification. There is a medium-term memory there and that's where information is just chucked that probably in about 20 minutes you will never ever remember it ever again. But we do have two quite distinct parts to our brain. Short-term memory is also called our working memory. So if you're sitting down and thinking something, you can hold a certain number of things in your working memory and that's it. I want to think of it this way. Somebody, maybe your um, partner or your mother or your brother, asks you to go out to the supermarket and buy a bunch of things. And so there's uh, the potatoes, the broccoli, the Vegemite, the soap flakes. How many things can you remember before you start forgetting or before you start needing a system to write down. In actual fact, the number emerged in the 1950s. It's about five to seven. That our working memory can manage about five to seven things before it starts getting overloaded. And in terms of a lecture, it's about 20 minutes of input before our brain starts dumping stuff. This working memory very important to care for it, to nurture it, to guard its, its, um, its capacities. So here's how it works. Let's say you've got a bunch of things in there. I'm going to go with five. And you're just kind of busy figuring something out. And out of the blue, another thing comes along. Usually what has to happen is one of these things has to get dumped into the trash. All right, so our working memory is finite. And if you're in a really, really bad way, your memory will be going up and down and you'll be remembering things. And you, you think, oh, I've got to also remember to go to the doctor. I've got to do this. I've got to do that. And you get into a bit of a muddle because things are buzzing around in our brain. The big tip, and again, if you go to a time management workshop or a seminar, this is one of the things they will tell you. Get it out of your brain into a trusted system. I'm just going to call a trusted system as being a list. So if you reach a Monday night and you have a deadline coming up and your brain is full, just get everything all listed down there. You may find it helpful when you're studying to have a piece of paper on the side that if anything suddenly crops up in your mind that you know you need to pay attention to out of your study uh, life, just jot it down and, and then kind of move on. But if you get overwhelmed, write your list. And then when you're thinking about your, your student life, your study life, just choose all the, all the things that you need to do and you have your study list. And then two steps. Prioritise. Schedule. So you can just say, okay, these are my top three, do them tonight. These are my second top three, do them Wednesday night. These are my final top three, do them Saturday morning. So... When you're overwhelmed, get it out of your brain.
then prioritize and schedule. Overwhelm is probably part and parcel of working as a distance student with all your other busy things that are going on. This is just a really um, quick overview that you can get out of a place of being overwhelmed, figure out what you need to do, and then do it. Final comment, you do all this and you still can't manage. Contact your tutor, get an extension or whatever, but you need to take responsibility for your own work and your own time, and you can do it. Thanks.